Hey, it's Joe Glides from the Automator, and today we're going to cover new file templates for AutoHotKey. So you know when you're in Explorer and you right-click and see the context menu and say, hey, I want a new AutoHotKey file, what decides what goes in there? So let's go ahead and jump into this. Uh, oh, oh yeah, don't forget, please like and uh, comment on the video. Tell me what, if, I'm going to show you what I have in my default file. Tell me what you have in yours. What, what do you think uh, I'm missing here? What do you like about mine? I'd love to hear it. All right, so let's uh, jump over here. So let's say you're in Explorer and you say new. I'm sorry, right click, say new. And here, auto hockey script. So this file, this has some content in it. What decides what goes in that? Well, if we look here and I say edit, you're gonna see mine is probably not the same as yours, right? I, I have a very simple one. It says include default settings. Now I'm gonna show you what this one is. This is my, my way of doing this, is I put this, this way it's in every file I do and um, I can I can toggle it, so I can just turn that off when I go to share that with other. I want to point out is where is that template? Where is this content saved, right? So let me show a little image here. What you gotta do is navigate to wherever Windows is installed. So look on my screen here, see Windows slash shell new. So wherever your Windows is installed, look for a folder called shell new, uh, and there, you should see at least, hopefully maybe there's more, but this template file. Now I'm gonna right click. Actually, you know what, let's use site. I'm gonna open site. Not that I usually use site, but it's good for my purpose here. Um, this is the content. Now, here's the big catch uh, like that might screw you up, right? I'm gonna say, well, let's say I wanted to add um, blah, whatever it is, right? I'm gonna save this. Hey, could not save, What? why can't I save? You have to be running this as an admin, right? So I'm gonna close. No, don't save because I wouldn't be able to. Now, I am going to, let me bring, sorry, I should have had this over here. I'm gonna right click site and say run as admin, right here, run as administrator. And now when I drag this file in here, Okay, so for sure. Oh, because this Explorer is not an admin, so apparently it won't let me. So I'm gonna copy that path. I'm going to open it and paste, and now here's that path. And now if I was to say blah and save, I just saved it. And we can test that by coming in. It doesn't matter where we go. Say new. Why is that? Oh, because I'm in a, a privileged area. Let's go back to the, so new auto hotkey script. And this is notice the two. I'm going to edit this one. And I notice it has this blah. Hey, that's not a thing, right? Because that doesn't, that's not actually something, right? So that's how you control what template's in there. So that's the first step of this video. It's a great thing. It's a simple thing, right? But what I want to do, and actually, before I forget this, let me come back into the site because it's still running as admin. I'm going to comment that out. Actually, I like that line return there. I'm going to save that. So now when I close this, close that, close that. And now if I come back in here and do another new auto hotkey script and edit, we're back to the way we were, right? So this is how you control, you can put stuff in there. Now the question is, what should you put in there? Now, let's show you my default. So I, as you see here, I include this as default settings and this is the file that is in every one of my scripts. Now the question of course is what is in that file? So we can jump to it here. And here, just start, this is some comments for you, right? This, this is the template I'm gonna show you here. It's a good, uh, something to note that you might wanna go take a look at. These are my hotkeys I have. So on every script that I am running as my template, when I use that include default, if I hit control E, it'll pop that script open, right? So I love having that in there. And shift escape is gonna exit that script for me. So. Every script I work on, if I'm working on something and, and I forget, like let's say it's a GUI and I end up doing a never ending loop or something, I would still be able to hit control escape and it's gonna kill that script. So this is a great one for me to have in here. This reload, I have these thumb buttons at the bottom of my keyboard, which allows me to easily reload and then trigger. Now, a lot of people don't like this, but once you get used to it, it's a no brainer. Um, I highly recommend you try it. it. It You do have to hit a hotkey to launch it, but make it a very, very convenient hotkey. And it gives you a lot of control to be able to reload or run your script without having to do anything, right? I don't have to go mouse click and run somewhere. It's just super easy. 
Uh, now, let, let's. I'm not going to go through each one of these settings. A lot of them are pretty obvious. Single source force that should be a default, you know, to me. Uh, the no environment, yeah, absolutely. These I like having. You know, I don't like sometimes using the th these characters in my script. So I create like an A enter or a, a new line, and this allows me to not show double quotes in it. It just makes it easier to read. Uh, and a lot of these other things are just default settings that I've worked through over time, especially the set working directory, right, to the a script directory. Uh, these are default settings I like. I personally enjoy having. Now, you can get this script, uh, again, with that NFT from the automator, right? You can get this. You can download it here. It'll have this. But let's take a look at this URL. I think I have it loaded, but yeah, here we go. So this, someone who started this, the dude started this conversation about what, what should you have in your default one. And he had some interesting stuff, as well as other people have some very interesting ideas on what should be in here. So I think this is a great thing to take a look at and just decide, should you have, like, we, Jackie and I, Jackie Stuck and I, we, we recorded a podcast the other day talking about, should we have a V1 and V2 at the beginning of your script? Because here shortly, or at some point, Auto Hockey 2 might become very prominent and it's not backwards compatible. So that might be something you want to have up here, the HK version. You know, having a 2 in here, especially also with the bitness, right, would be a good thing to include in that because often you need a specific bitness. Uh, but there's some other good suggestions in here. So uh, this is a, a really good idea of what to put in your new template. And the beginning of the script was where you put that file. Oh, one more thing I wanted to note. If you're using AutoHockey Studio like I do, it doesn't use that default template. So what you do is pull up the Omni menu and say, I do NFT, NFT, see that new file template? Okay, I can click that. This, I can put whatever I want here. It doesn't use that default thing. I change it here, and then whenever I hit Control N in Studio, it's going to pull that up. So hope that helps. Uh, Studio is a great tool, by the way, and take care. Cheers.